So I was writing in both languages, and uh, soon I realized like I couldn't really translate my Chinese poetry into English. It doesn't translate very well. So I put them side by side, and soon I realized like my Chinese poetry is like a good girl poem, you know. I was well-behaved, principled, and flowery and pretty. But in my American poetry, um, I was a wild, 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 you know, raw and uh, full of edges and, uh, and also a lot of raw power. And that made me realize that my mother tongue actually is kind of invisible whip and telling me what to look, where to go. And so I have a lot of inhibitions. And whereas in English language, I'm so free. Even though I have very few toys or tools to work with, my vocabulary was very limited. But with the few simple ones, I could, it's like, like I'm like a child with in a, like a giant Lego playground. And even though my Lego parts are limited, I could make infinite toys with them. So when I realized that, I just went all the way, you know, pushed all the way. And that's how I teach too. I teach my, I t push my students really, really hard. I said, if you're good at one thing, just go all the way to the end without stopping, without looking back. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.